Hello and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in today's video, we're going to be going over paragraph styles in Adobe Muse. So I'm going to open up this sample site that I've created here. And as you can see, I just wrote some text, some text, some text uh, multiple times. I just kind of copied it, copied and pasted uh, over the over the same thing multiple times. Now, uh, paragraph styles. Um, should be on the right side panel of Adobe Muse. If it's not, go to Window and then go to Paragraph Styles, and then it'll it'll appear uh, here on the right of uh, these panels here on the right side of Adobe Muse. Now, what Paragraph Styles are? They're uh, ways to style your text in a certain way, and then kind of save that format so that you can apply it to other text on your website. That way you don't have to keep you know changing the font to a certain size certain web font or font type certain color or you know just having to do all that work over and over again so i'm going to go ahead and do a few examples and uh so it should be a, a fairly quick video but uh, i'll show you a few examples here so here i have some text and i'm just going to style this i'm going to change uh this to lobster and maybe change the size to 60. All right, so now I'm going to go and select uh, this text here, and I'm going to open up uh, my paragraphs panel, paragraph style panel, and then right down here we have this uh, create a new style uh, from the attributes applied. So this creates a new uh, paragraph style. Excuse me. So I just click on that, and right here the paragraph style has been created. If I double click. I can call this uh, style name anything I'd like. So this is blue uh, lobster plus blue font, and click OK. And I can make this a head, head <clears throat> excuse me, an, a headline tag, an H1 tag, uh, an H2 tag, an H3 tag, an H4 tag, H5 or H6 H6 tag. Excuse me. So if this was a headline, I'll just make it an H1 tag. Uh, now it'll be a headline. So if I had a few headlines on my website. I would just have to click on the text and uh, then click on the style. So uh, as you can see, see here, we have the style settings, uh, size 60, align center, font lobster, color, the RGB color, and the tag is H1. So I click OK. And then here in my paragraph styles, I have lobster plus blue font. All right, so now let's say I go down to any of any one of these and I just click on this one and then I click on my paragraph style, it immediately converts it to that uh, style, to the lobster plus blue font. And if I decide to change the color, um, it'll no longer, oh, it'll be the same um, paragraph style, but it'll, it'll have a plus next to it. Whereas the first one, the one that uh, was originally created for this style name, doesn't have a plus. So if you do change this style, it'll retain the original properties uh, but it'll just have a plus symbol next to the paragraph style, meaning that you added something different to it. Okay, so I'll do that a few more times here. So I'll just change this text to, you know, this here, change the color, maybe change the size to 72, and then click here, click this little kind of paper icon to create a new style. Then it creates it here, paragraph style. So I just double click and I say uh, orange, uh, I'll just call it bold orange font. And we'll leave it as a paragraph. Uh, we don't want this to be um, any, any headline or subheading. And we just click OK. And there it is. And if I click on any one of these and just click bold orange font, it'll change it to that. All right, if I hit Command Shift E, um, that's how it looks like in my uh, browser. And if I inspect element, I'll just show you uh, this sum text is actually in H1 tags. So the search engines and uh, the code on your site is going to see this sum text as an H1 tag. Uh, headlines are pretty important with search engine optimization. Um, H1s are the most important uh, headlines or topics. And then you have your subheadings, <clears throat> excuse me, subheadings, which are H2 h3 h4 h h5 and h6 and then if we go down to let's say the orange one we 
I can find it here. It's just in paragraph tags, which is fine. All right, and it shows you the properties here and all that. Uh, but that's just kind of behind the scenes and behind the scenes in the code inspector. All right, so that's pretty much it for paragraph styles. Um, not too much to it, but again, it can save you a lot of time. I mean, if you create a another page and you add some text, some text, instead of having to go and change everything, you just select this and either do that or that, and you have your paragraph styles. So it can save you a lot of time and it's a pretty, pretty cool feature in Adobe Muse. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.